test, test, test was the instruction from the World Health Organization when the COVID-19 pandemic began to take hold around the world last year. But it took many months for many countries to build up testing capacity. And what we're still very bad at is rapid so-called point-of-care testing that can spot an infected person quickly, cheaply, conveniently and accurately. Now, lateral flow tests can do this to an extent, but they do miss cases, they're fiddly and they require unpleasant nasal swabs. But now scientists at MIT think they might have a solution, both for this pandemic and future ones involving different infections entirely. They've developed a sensor system comprising a fibre optic to which a special coating is applied that recognises specific viruses. And when it does so, it emits light of a specific colour, signalling a detection. Michael Strano told me how it works. You have a sample from a human and you can take, it's called a fiber optic. It's basically a wire for light and the sensor is on the end of it. And you can put that into the sample and you can tell within a minute or so whether there's there's virus in the sample. Our technique also has another advantage in that it can work in saliva. You better tell us how it works. It's made up of very, very tiny particles, 50,000 times smaller than the thickness of your hair. You actually can't even see them with a microscope. And when you shine light on them, they'll shine light back at a different color. That light tells you whether that particle has bound to something like a virus. And we have technology at MIT that can put a coating around the the particle uh, so that it can fit onto different molecules you want to detect, like, like a lock and key. So if you think of the virus as as like an asteroid type of type of shape, you want to make uh, something that can fit into one of the crevices. So it only recognizes that virus and not something else that's in the environment. Got it. In yeah. essence, then, you have this very thin tube for light. You've decorated it with some kind of coating that means it's sticky selectively for the thing you want to detect. And when it binds onto the thing you want to detect you get a different colour of light coming off of it and you can see that difference and that tells you, aha, our sensor has bound onto a coronavirus. That is correct. And it's very, very selective for just the virus that causes COVID-19. It also turns out to be very, very sensitive. We can end up detecting just handfuls of virus in a small droplet of liquid. But it has these other advantages that it's faster. It can be used right at the point of care, say right at the exit of an airplane, and it works in saliva. But if I came along with SARS-CoV-2 that causes COVID-19 and a related coronavirus that causes the common cold, they are really, really similar. And to an untrained eye, down a microscope, they're the same thing. Can your sensor tell them apart or does it get confused? We actually did that exact test and we were pleased to find that our sensor picks out just the virus that causes COVID-19 and not similar viruses. So it really is a very selective sensor. Are you expecting it to take long to do the, the next stage of the evaluation? Is this something that we could see actually helping us to combat the problems we've got this winter? Because arguably having extra tools to fight this thing with is critical. Well, what we've demonstrated is that we can generate the technology very, very quickly. Getting it to a point where we can start to screen larger and larger larger populations. Um, Check back with me in a few months. And we will. Michael Strano there.